here. It's so big! But, uh, not as big as the one we saw in the middle of this place. That one was huge. I bet it's something super important. I remember what Kaya said earlier. Very good, Klee. You're using what you saw earlier to make observations, like a real adventurer. Hmm. It appears to be a system that rotates to switch tracks. That's right. Originally, all you had to do was flip this switch and the junction would rotate. Hmm. But it seems Jeremy still hasn't fixed it yet. He sure talks big, but when it comes to actually getting things done... Is this Jeremy you mentioned one of your brothers? Yeah. When I talked to him about repairing the tracks, I suggested we start with the station, but he said we should start at the junction. Really, it made no difference which one we started with, but he just had to turn it into a huge argument. He always treats me like I'm a fool and disagrees with anything I say. Hmm. Let's see what he has to say now that I've already fixed the tracks. If you ask me, you're clearly a sharp person, Ferdinand. Yes. Finally, someone who can recognize that, rather than just shrugging off my ideas. Come on, let's make our way to the junction and see what he's up to. I bet he's still fretting over what to do. Sometimes I can't help but get angry just thinking of Jeremy. You should have seen him back in the sandstorm. I suggested we go east, and he argued that we should go west. You're in a sandstorm? What happened after that? We separated and each went our own way. Lucky for us, we stumbled across this domain. Otherwise, I'm sure we would have been buried in the sand. Everything will get better once we get the switcher working again. Hmm. Still stuck here just as I expected. Well, did you make any progress? Didn't I already tell you? Just have the Hydro Idolans fix the junction and then make a new cart. After that, we can use the junction to... Wait a minute, how did you get here? It took a lot of effort for me to climb all the way up here. The answer is standing right in front of you. Huh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Those travelers must have helped you. You never get anything done on your own. You always get someone else's help and then try to take the credit for yourself. You're one to talk. What have you managed to accomplish, huh? You were here just moping around all day. Whoa. They started arguing the moment they saw each other. But aren't they supposed to be brothers? Ha! <laughs> Me? His brother? <laughs> Hardly. <sighs> all right, Jeremy. That's enough. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'd rather be focusing my efforts on fixing the track switch rather than arguing anyway. You should calm down too, Ferdinand. Let's all focus on the situation at hand. Any personal problems can be settled later. Fine. I'm sorry you had to see that. My name's Jeremy. I'm one of the people responsible for taking care of this area. I assume you're the ones who helped repair the tracks. Thank you very much. It means a lot. No need to thank us. We're just trying to help Idea restore the domain. I see. Now that you and Ferdinand brought the cart up here, we'll need the Hydro Idolans to fix the area below. Them again, huh? Seems the Hydro Idolans are really important around this place. Yes, of course. Not only do they keep the junction turning, they operate practically everything else in the domain, too.
All right. Seems most of the tracks and junctions have been repaired now. Yep. So maybe it's time you give credit where credit is due, hmm? What? You think you deserve the credit? If anything, we should be thanking these travelers. Uh, you? Well, either way, you're not the one getting any credit. You're always quick to criticize my ideas and push your own, but you never actually get anything done. And what about you? Don't forget it was Hado and I who took care of the mess that one time you impulsively tried one of your brilliant ideas. Uh, speaking of Hado, wasn't he with you? I left early this morning. I assumed he'd be with you. Seriously? Couldn't you have at least looked to see where he was before you left? Hey, come on! You didn't see him either, so what's your excuse? Clee? I don't get it. Nobody did anything bad. Why are they arguing? I... Uh, I just don't like his smug attitude, that's all. Who are you calling smug? If anything, you're the one who's making such a big fuss right now. All right, I think we've heard enough from you two. If you insist on bickering, then I'd suggest you go somewhere else. Otherwise, I'll just cool you two off myself. Uh... <sighs> now, come with me. I'd like to have a word with you. Phew. Don't be upset, Klee. There are many complicated situations in this world which don't always have a logical explanation. As a passing traveler here, it's not my place to comment on their disputes. But in my experience, family issues can be the toughest to resolve. Seems you don't like dealing with this kind of thing either, Kokomi. But it's still not right. I don't know how to explain my feelings. I'm sorry. We've calmed down. We shouldn't argue in front of a child like that. We're sorry, Klee. It's okay. Back to the topic at hand. Weren't you about to go look for your brother, Hado? Ah, right. Our best guess is he's somewhere around the Torrential Twister. We would have to use the junction to send the cart to another area. Sorry to trouble you again, but would you help us find him? Oh, um, all right. <sighs> 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 <sighs>